What is up, YouTube? It's RS Mario here, and uh, well, let's see. I watched WWE Fast Lane. I have to say, not the best outing of WWE um, in a while. Last few pay per views have been okay, they haven't been horrible. This one, I don't know. I mean, the wrestling itself was actually pretty good. Wrestling was pretty good. Everything else, I don't know. I really don't. Um, so, let's see. Let's go through the matches and the pros and cons of the show. All right. So, uh, let's see. I didn't see the pre-show. Uh, I didn't really care that much. From what I heard, it was pretty much a Paul Heyman, Brock Lesnar promo type of deal. Um you know, on Miss TV. Uh, I don't know if it got beaten up or not. I, I didn't watch it. Uh, oh, if you hear sound effects and stuff in the background, that's because I'm taping in a different location than I usually do. So, yeah. <laughs> Yo, this is live, cuz. This is live. We're gonna do it live! Um, so, yeah. Um, yeah. So, well, it's not exactly live, but it's just a different location. Um, uh, but yeah. So, Let's see. The tag match was actually pretty solid. Um, surprise! Did not expect uh, the Usos to lose. You know, I did not expect them to lose. I thought they were really they were going to set this up. You know, set them up on a nice run and to get them taken down by the um, the Ascension. But that's not the case. I guess they have a little bit more faith in Cesaro and Kid than I actually thought they did. So that's pretty awesome. Um, the endings, th that's one thing, I'll get to that in the end. I'll get to the endings in the end. Um, let's see, the Intercontinental title match, uh, nowhere near what I expected it to be. You got two brawlers, one of them is a street fighter, the other one's a psycho. You expected this to be a, a straight out, you know, smash mouth brawl, and it wasn't. Like, it was, yeah. You know, like, like Barrett spent half the match running away. <laughs> I mean, it's pretty horrible. That was that was pretty bad. Um, and the ending was also pretty bad. Um, which basically, a lot of these things are weird because they're actually setting up for like, oh, you can tell that they're setting these matches up for rematches at WrestleMania. That's pretty much what they're doing. But um, back on to the show. Uh, the Divas match was okay. It was kind of short, but it was okay. Um, ending to that match was blah. You know, Nikki retained. I figured that was going to happen because, I mean, again, it's going to be another match at WrestleMania. Um, let's see. They had, oh, they had some surprise matches that were actually, that's weird. The unscheduled matches were actually better than the scheduled matches, which was weird. Like, they, the first match to kick off the show was a six-man tag match between um, Ziggler, um, um, what's that dude's name? The big, the giant ginger dude, um, Rowan and Ryback versus Rollins, Big Show, and Kane. And it was actually a pretty good match. You know, I mean, it did have your standard WWE tag team stuff. You know, one dude gets beaten down, gets the hot tag, somebody comes in, they wreck house. But it didn't actually go back and forth after that. So it was actually pretty good. Uh, Rollins picks up the win. Um, which was so kind of surprising, actually. You know, that, you know, Oh, actually, excuse me. Kane picked up the win. That's right. Kane actually got a pinfall victory on somebody. Surprise. Um, so, yeah. Kane picks up the win there. I mean, there were some shenanigans involved. But it wasn't exactly illegal. You know, like, I mean... I think Kane like choked Ziggler and like brought him down low enough so that Big Show could do a flying knockout punch, take him out. I, that was awesome, and then he took him out with the choke slam. Have to say that match was good. Um, Orton finally arrives from wherever he was. You know, Orton finally comes back and he um, he clears house, RKOs for everybody except for Rollins who gets away, and. Um, you know, so that was awesome. That was a big pop start to the show. They should have kind of left that somewhere in the middle of the show because the crowd was dead from right after Orton all the way to when John Cena came out, which is most of the show. Like, Memphis is probably never going to get a pay-per-view ever again. <laughs> that crowd was so dead. Um, let's see. The other match was... Um, oh, the other unscheduled match was all right, too. It was, uh, it was Goldust versus Stardust. Uh, the ending was weak, but it was it was kind of an ending I expected. Um, 
you know, Goldust retains the, he, well, he doesn't retain anything. He wins the match with a roll-up after he told Dusty he was going to win. He wasn't going to hurt um, the Stardust. And, of course, you know, Goldust goes backstage to talk to Dusty and gets beaten down by Stardust or Cody Dust or Cold Dust or whatever he's doing now. Um, let's see what else we have. Oh, so the big matches, the big ones, the big boy matches. Cena versus freaking Rusev. I have to say, and this is weird, that I'm putting these two guys in the, in this sense, into, into this sentence, but the match of the night probably had to be Cena versus Rusev. Like, that match was solid. I mean, and, and, and the thing is, like I said in the predictions video, every match that Rusev wins humanizes him more. And it shows people that he's not unbeatable. And he went in on Cena, and Cena beat the crap out of him. And they went back and forth. Even though the ending was weak, like the endings in the, pretty much the entire pay-per-view, um, you know, it was pretty weak. But the fact is, you know, it made... It, it retain, it, Cena lost, but Cena lost looking strong. There was shenanigans, because of course Cena will never lose clean, ever. But, he lost. And, and Rusev won. Rusev did look somewhat strong, even though he did need the help of Lana to get the win in the end. You know, and Cena still looks strong going to Mania, because he never actually tapped out, he actually passed out. So, not bad, it was interesting. Um, but the, the match was back and forth. Like, I mean, Cena was winning, and then it wasn't like a Super Cena moment. You know, it wasn't like a Super Cena moment and somebody screwed Cena over. No. All right, there was no Super Cena. Every time he tried to go Super Cena, Rusev put him down. All right, it's like, no, he beat Super Cena. He beat the Super out of Cena. So that was crazy. Um, that match was pretty good. It was back and forth. Um, Rusev wins. He retains the title. Uh, I would like to see what they're going to do with that on Raw, you know. Even though I hate this old man Cena story, the man's not even 40. How are you old and you're not 40? I mean, they're 40-year-old guys right now doing winning titles, doing all kinds of stuff. But oh well. Um, and in the main event, <sighs> Roman Reigns versus Daniel Bryan. Alright, so Roman Reigns and Daniel Bryan, this was a pretty... Um, Daniel Bryan carried this match. I I'm trying to not be like um, biased in this, you know, review of the match or whatever. But um, Daniel Bryan carried this match. Like like this this match hurt Reigns more than it helped him because it actually shows that he really doesn't have anything to carry a long match. Like, you can't do a one-hour one Iron Man match with Roman Reigns. He has nothing to carry this. He has four moves. And that's really it. You know, he has the spear. He has that running kick on the apron. He has the Samoan drop. And he has the um, uh, the Superman punch. I mean, he did kind of do some other things. He did a power bomb. He did, like, a belly-to-belly. -belly. But he really can't go for long periods. He can't go in a long match, you know. He needs somebody to carry him. Like Cena, like Cena's not the best wrestler ever, but Cena can kind of carry his own. Like he didn't, he did a match with Rusev, and Rusev doesn't have that many moves. He doesn't, he doesn't have that very of a move set. You know, Cena didn't carry that match, but he did pretty good. Roman Reigns got carried by by Daniel Bryan. All right, that match, Daniel Bryan carried that match, and um, the ending. Ending was alright. I mean, it didn't make them. It didn't make either one of them look bad, but I do feel that this could definitely hurt Roman Reigns. Um, the, the booze wasn't as loud as I expected them to be. It's not like Bautista loud, but there were there were booze. So this is not this is not going to end well. Um, so Roman Reigns goes on to WrestleMania to fight Brock Lesnar, and uh, even in the end of the match, you know, basically you saw. You know, Brock, you know um, Daniel Bryan saying, you better beat Brock Lesnar. You better beat Brock Lesnar. You know. So, um, that's about it. That was the pay-per-view, you know. So, just going on the match call here. Uh, let's see. 
Nikki defeats uh, Paige. Um, let's see. Uh, Barrett retains his title. Rusev retains his title. He, he you know, Cena passed out. Uh, the tag team, oh, the tag team champions lost their titles. Um, you know, um, the authority beat Ziggler, or the authority beat Team Cena, basically. Um, and, of course, Roman Reigns defeated Daniel Bryan. Um, so here's the thing. In the end of this, of this video, I'm going to talk about the endings to these matches. Um, every one of these endings was bad. Like... There were so many roll-ups, DQs, just horrible. Like, it's like they didn't even think about these endings. And it's, it's not the fact that they didn't think about them. It's that they couldn't book them. They couldn't. They needed to. They Because these matches are going to be rematched at WrestleMania. This is going to be the most rematches ever in history of WrestleMania. I, I guarantee you. WrestleMania card is Paige versus, um, versus, um... Nikki, unless AJ comes back for the WrestleMania paycheck, it's gonna be um, uh, um, it's gonna be Barrett versus uh, Ambrose. You know, it may even be a rematch of Cena and Rusev. I don't know, but a lot of these matches are gonna get rematched at WrestleMania, and if not, they'll be rematched in on Raw in the coming weeks. But yeah, like these endings were weak, like. I mean, I couldn't. It was one ending that was so weak. I couldn't even tell. Like the, the tag team championship, I couldn't even tell if he got the pinfall there. And the same thing with the Cody Rose Goldust match. Like people in the chat, you know, I was on a chat with people while I was watching it on TV, and they were they didn't even think the match was over. They thought it was a botch, but no, it was <laughs> the match was over. Like these endings were horrible, and. um... You know, a lot of these matches are going to get rematched at WrestleMania. So, yeah, hopefully in the future they, they don't do something like this. Because they pretty much threw away the endings of these matches because they knew WrestleMania was coming. You know, so I'm guess, I'm kind of glad that the Elimination Chamber wasn't at this pay-per-view. Because if this was an Elimination Chamber pay-per-view, I would be pissed off. This is one of my favorite pay-per-views. And if they would have just threw away all the matches like this... I would have been kind of pissed, you know. The wrestling was good. The endings were horrible. So, that's about it. Um, You know, if I had to grade this, I'd give it like a C-. minus. Like, uh, I'm, so, I'm, I'm glad. It's like, this would have made an awesome episode of Raw. This is an episode of Raw that would be pretty good. But for a pay-per-view, no. No. I would not pay for this. So, um, that's about it. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Keep it real.